So what are alert messages and how can they be used in Zoho Creator? Well, alert messages in Zoho Creator are a type of notification that can be used to inform users about certain conditions or situations within your application. They can be used to provide immediate feedback to the user based on certain actions or inputs within a form. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through use cases of alert messages and how to set them up in Zoho Creator. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. So there's a few different ways alert messages can be used in Zoho Creator. Number one is validation. Alert messages can be used to validate user input in a form. For example, if a user enters an invalid email address, an alert message could pop up informing them that the input is incorrect and then cancel the form submission. Another way to use an alert message would be for confirmation actions. For instance, when a user submits a record, an alert message could appear asking them to confirm or check a box or make sure that all of the information has been populated. Another way would be error messages. If there's an error while processing a form or data, an alert message can then inform the user about an issue and possibly suggest how to fix it or just cancel the submission altogether. And then lastly, it could be used for guidance. Alert messages can guide users on how to use the application effectively by providing tips or instructions at relevant points throughout the form. That's what we're gonna be going through today and let me show you how to set this up. Inside of this application, this is the uh, same task management application we've been using or I've been using for these creator tutorials. And what I wanna show you here is how to set up some alert messages. So let me first start by showing you what an alert tag or a command line looks like inside of Deluge in Creator. I'm gonna go into the editor here. Uh, so I'm gonna edit this application. And let's say I wanna put an alert message on input of status. So as soon as I set the status of a record, I wanna see something. Let me show you what that looks like. So we're gonna set up a workflow rule in this case, it's on the task form, and we'll do it on create or edit, user input of a form, or user input of a field, and status as the field. We're gonna create an action, and all this is saying is on user input of status, I wanna alert the user with something. So the command line is just alert, and then you simply type in what you want that message to read. So status has been set. Save. Now, when I reset, we're gonna add a task and I'm gonna set the status. This is what that alert message reads. So status has been set. To clear out an alert, all you have to do is just click okay and proceed forward. Nothing's changed in the form. Really, the only thing that has happened is an alert has popped up. We can build on this alert by actually adding fields or values from the form as well. So we can say status has been set to input.status. Now, whenever I set the status, it's going to show status has been set to in progress. Great. Quick and easy how to set up a alert message. Now you can think of different use cases on why you might want to set an alert. Uh, again, maybe it's to uh, notify the user of a particular action or to maybe declare there might be an error with a certain value that's been populated. There's a lot of different things. Another way you might want to do this is for error handling and debugging. As a developer, maybe you want to throw an error message from a specific function or an API call that you've submitted, and you want to be able to capture that through an alert. You could use an info statement, that's certainly doable, or you could use an alert message. Both are available to you to use. Now, what I've shown here, this is a, a simple one just on input of a status and on input of a field. There's other ways to build on alert messages. A, a very common use case for alert message is validation. What we could write is a, a new workflow rule and I'm going to say create or edit and on validate. So we're going to create a new action here. Now validate workflows have added functionality when it comes to alerting users of a particular message. I can certainly still throw in an alert, say alert 
well, let, let's let's come up with a, a certain use case. Let's say I'm trying to submit this form, but certain fields haven't been populated. I could set fields as mandatory, but there could be issues with permissions, or maybe I don't want it to always be mandatory. I don't want it to be conditionally mandatory. So I don't want to necessarily set the field as mandatory, but I do want to validate and make sure for certain cases that a field has been populated. Uh, so what we can do is say, let's if input.status uh, is null, then I want to alert this field is mandatory please populate well, i have to say status please assign a status now what you'll see though is this alert message won't populate because and I'll, I'll show you why and this is something to note when you're doing a alert message on validate there's one other command you have to write for that alert message to appear. Because if I go ahead and just submit this here, you can see nothing happened. There is nothing that was actually validated. What you do need to do is you need to have one more command and that's to cancel submit. So if you cancel submit, that's saying, well, I, I can't save this record. In this case, I'm canceling the submission and we're gonna show a pop-up message because in this case, status is null. So now whenever I go to submit it, you'll see status is mandatory. Please assign a status. And the record did not get submitted. So in this case, I, I have to put in a status. Uh, status has been updated to open, great. And then I can submit now. So that's a quick little hint it, it, when you're doing a validation alert, you do have to put a cancel submit on there. Th this would be used to validate a submission or to show an error message of some kind. This is how you would do it. Now you can take this another step further. On validate, you can actually assign a field to uh, show this message on. So if I put the field name, this is the field API name, and then I put comma and then the message. Now what will happen is when I go to put in a task and I say submit, it's just gonna say invalid entries found, rectify and submit again. And then that message will actually appear on the field you've assigned. Now you can only assign a field for validate alert messages. Uh, this will only work on validation. Uh, so that's something to note, but it's a cool way to direct a user specifically to a given field. Really, that's about it as far as alert messages go. There's a lot you can do with them. They become very handy, specifically for validation form submissions and also for directing users on user input of a field. Maybe you need to require a certain checkbox be populated or on input of a checkbox, it, it runs a function. And if that function returns an error message, then show an alert message. Bunch of things can be done. And you can think of a bunch of different use cases for this. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it keeps your mind thinking about the possibilities within Zoho Creator. As always, if you have any questions or implementations you would like to share, please put those in the comments below or post in our community, Club Zanata. Thank you for watching and have a great day.